Hello, and welcome to a second uh, Japanese food review, or rather Japanese Pokemon food review. Uh, if you remember correctly from the last time, I ordered the curry and the ramen. Well, technically I've repeated that by ordering ramen, but as you'll see in a second, it's a different ramen. So, um, let's begin. I, I have got two ramen things and two uh, sweet things in the background. The other two items are um, candy pokeballs, which I'll go into in a second with like figures in. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is have the seafood ramen. If you remember last time I had the soy ramen, well, this time there's a slight difference in that these are Generation 6 ones, as you can see with the Gen 6 starters there. Um, so, basically, uh, really, really quick look at the packaging. It's obviously Gen 6 Pokemon and stuff. Pikachu is winking seductively for some reason and just waving. The top, it's seafood thing. Uh, and I think it's seafood flavor. I can't remember. I can't read Japanese. So, also look, there's Mega Evolutions. Hype as fuck. That's Mega Mewtwo uh, X there, looking all bumpy. So, right, um, and also there's little froaky uh, Naruto pieces there, which is really cool. 210 milliliters of water, you know the drill. So, I shall be right back to review what it actually tastes like. Okay, I am back. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving this sort of set in with the water and stuff. Also, there's a sticker, which I forgot to mention last time. If any of you can read Japanese, it's probably already spoiled to you. That's the name of the Pokemon. I, however, cannot read Japanese, so... What could it be? Are you what sure could it's it be? telling you what Pokemon is, or it might just be hinting at you? No, it's definitely it's definitely the uh, Pokemon thing. Oh, also I forgot to mention I'm joined with Glyn and Tim. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah we're an you, afterthought. You're, you're both welcome to say hello and stuff. Or you... Well, I've spoken I'll... already, so people know I'm here. But yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll link your channels below this video. Yay. Right, the Pokemon is... Uh, hang on. What? Oh, alright, sorry, it's Mega Absol! Yay! Like Absol it. fucking lootly! Oh. Can, you, can you dub over crawling by Linkin Park? Oi! I like Absol, he's awesome. There we go. That's the point. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, don't worry. Right, well, okay, so Mega Absol is pretty cool. If you see there, it says Mega Revolution. So I think all of the stickers in this set are Mega Revolutions, which is pretty fucking cool, actually. I like Mega Absol. I may put this sticker on something, maybe. I don't know. Put it on your face. Uh, I don't think it would stay very long there because adhesion and stuff. Oh, well, if you want to, if you want information, he is 1.2 something and 49.0. Uh, some kanji zero kanji yeah, kanji kanji. One point two meters. Probably in forty nine pounds or something. That's really light. Forty nine stone. Forty nine stone is way too heavy. A lot of uh, you know. Okay, right. Well, hopefully the ramen may be done with the magical use of boiling water. Ooh, yeah, it feels done. Right, I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can find some Naruto pieces. So Believe it. I don't want this. I can never use chopsticks. Well, I can. <laughs> well, I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks! <laughs> right, I can't actually find the narrator. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have found a froaky piece, and underneath it is a Pikachu piece. Oh, it's adorable. So you get really cool stuff like that in it. Oh, Froakie's already gone again. <laughs> But yeah, that's definitely a Pikachu piece, uh, isn't it kawaii? I am really impressed, I said this last time as well, I am impressed by how well printed these are, because like, I don't know, the, j just it boggles the mind that sort of you can you can make fish look like, I mean, it's processed fish, so, you know. But, the main thing now is, let's have a bite of this. When I say let, I'm going to, you guys aren't, because that would be weird. I think we should do a whole, you know, um, Lady and the Tramp thing. <laughs> we could do it. Right, I'm, I'm going to try some off-camera and let you guys know what it tastes like. Dun, 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 as long as it's not the stars in your egg, you're good to go. Smells fishy? Dun, 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 dun. 
<laughs> Slurping mm. intensifies. Um, well. Tastes very vaguely of fish. Very, very vaguely, actually. Um, well. These, they, they, they do not taste the strongest of anything, really. I'm going to have a froaky, actually. Froaky piece. Uh, oh, let's see, what does this taste like? Taste of protein. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting the protein ability here. <laughs> um, yeah, that didn't taste of anything particularly either. But you do get a sticker with it of Mega Absol and it's got like pizza of froaky in it, so I would give this a solid eight out of ten because they're really nice noodles. They don't taste of anything particularly, but they taste pretty nice. This maybe no, this can't be the soy flavour because the last one was red coloured and so is that one. So I'll be right back. I'll probably have one of the candy pokeballs and then go to the next ramen thing, so stay tuned. And for continuity's sake, I've got the finished ramen thing there. And after I, I finished it, I did taste a bit more fish, but it's still kind of soy flavoured stuff, which is weird because that's the soy flavoured one. So when you say for continuity's sake, it kind of ruins the point. I well, yeah, I I, I, I guess. I mean, I, I have just finished the ramen, so because there's two of them, what I'm going to do is eat one ramen and one of these a day for two days for the rest of your life. Yeah. So, looking at the thing here, it's pretty exciting actually. You get candy and a figure. And the figures can be Eevee, Umbreon, Espeon, Sylveon, Leafeon, or Glaceon. And on that side, it's Mewtwo, Charizard, Gensect, and Red Gensect. And, almost like the and if we look inside, that's what the figures look like. Pretty cool. They're probably really tiny. But I really like figures, as you may have noticed from my reviews on this channel. So obviously there's a Master Ball and a Poker Ball. I'm going to open the Poker Ball because I have a feeling the Master Ball may have something better, but it may not. Maybe I'm totally making this up and I don't know what the fuck I'm on about. Maybe you're crazy. Yes. Tim will uh, give give some musical uh, inspiration as I open this with a knife. Be right back. Right. I... That was... <laughs> Remember kids, blades are wrong. Except when they're useful. Which is always... Take all five! No sense. Right, so, we are back. There's a hinge there. I think I open it like so. Uh, I, can... I got an Espeon! Nice. Oh yeah! Look at that Espeon! Do I get a stand? Because if not, this is going to be fucking impossible to stand. I don't get a stand. Four legs. You'll survive. Yeah. Hmm. First world problems. My figure doesn't have a stand. Well, that's the Espeon, and the sweet is... Ooh. Oh, it does have a Pokeball. I was about to say, it's like, oh, it's not even Pokemon related, but... Okay, well, I'm, I'm about to eat a... A... What the fuck is that? Uh... Oh, okay, it's... Oh, cool. It, oh, it's essentially a lollipop with a lollipop stick. It's boring. It's, uh, but it does look like a Pokeball if you put it in this way, and that's 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 cool. So, I'm going to try this. It tastes of strawberry. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Strawberry! Ooh. That's a weird taste. Um, It kind of... It tastes of... It's a weird strawberry flavour, that. That's... Mmm. Um, it reminds me a bit of jasmine tea. That... Okay. <laughs> I... It's got... direction for a sweet tea. The only thing I can describe it as is it tastes of strawberries and, like, flowery kind of stuff. Like... Strawberry flower and jasmine tea. It's... Uh, it's weird. Anyway, let's open the Sylveon. Espeon, sorry. <laughs> let's, let's open this Espeon and, you know, I'll... Hmm. Try and make it stand without a stand. I know. Oh, no. oh. I do think this is going to be quite difficult, though, because her legs are really thin. Her, or, or, her, or his. Or his. Or his. Espeon can be a male. It's... 75% Actually, yeah. Meal, or is it more than that? It's like that something cray cray. Yeah. It's a really cool figure. Espeon was a 
was a female and the umbrella was a, was a male. That is highly detailed, actually. Well done to the, like, the people. company that made this, which is not Pokemon, obviously, because... But, wow, can it stand? Let's see. Will it blend? <laughs> no, it can't stand. It's drunk. Can't stand me now. Can't stand it really me. cannot stand. There I'm is. Drunk, go home, you're drunk. There's absolutely no chance of this thing standing. Yeah, don't get them mixed up. Go me. <laughs> I mean, whilst that's a really cute pose and stuff, um. I'd assume this is like a keychain or something, because look, you, you can't stand the figure on those. That's... Can we nickname it Pete Doherty? We, we can. Uh, hello, okay. Pete Doherty. Hello. Oh, stand me now. It's not actually his voice, but... Yeah, it's it, it's a cool figure. I do not have an Espeon figure. Uh, admittedly, this is fucking tiny, because, you know, as you can see. But, you know, that's cool. I have something that's only filmed in Japan. I have a weird strawberry slash jasmine flavoured sweet. I may be wrong. Five minutes. It it may be like my uh, weird taste buds. Right, well, thank you very much for watching part one. I'll probably put a part two up because otherwise it's going to get tediously long. So, until next time. Um, goodbye. They're not, they're, they're not going to be in the next part. So it's, it's I just... will. I'll I'll make sure of it. I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there in spirit. It's just I gonna will be photoshop my way in. It's just gonna be me and you viewers. Just.